Today we're going to go over problem number four from the one proportion sample hypothesis test worksheet. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention website, 50% of high school students have never smoked a cigarette. Mrs. Jesterlin, who used to be a teacher at Poolsville High School, wonders whether this national result holds true at her school, which is Poolsville High School. She surveys a random sample of 120 students, and 72 say that they have never smoked a cigarette. What should Mrs. Jesterlin conclude? Provide evidence to support your answer. So again, we're going to use the hypothesis test template. And again, we're going to name our hypothesis test, and it's a one sample test for a proportion. Um, we need to state our, hypo our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. However, first we need to state the proportion, P, our parameter. And it's the proportion of PHS students who have never smoked a cigarette. Our null hypothesis is P equals 0 0.5 because the CDC says 50% of students have smoked a cigarette. Our alternative hypothesis is P doesn't equal 0 0.5 because we don't think that 50% of the students at Poolsville High School have um, never smoked a cigarette. And our evidence for our null hypothesis, P hat, would be 72 over 120, which equals 0 0.6, which does not equal 0 0.5. Again, we check our conditions. Um, we were told it's a random sample of PHS students. Um, 120 PHS students is less than 10% of all PHS students. And N times P equals 120 times 0 0.5, which equals 60, which is greater than 10. And n times q equals 120 times 0 0.5, which also equals 60, which is greater than 10. So our sample size is large enough. So we're going to go through and do our mechanics again. Here, we were not given a significance level, so we're going to use alpha equals 0 0.05. We need to find Z again. Z is P hat minus P all over the square root of P times Q divided by N. So this would be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 all over the square root of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 divided by 120. And again, we can go to our calculator and run the test on it. And so you go to stat, choose test, choose number five, one proportion Z test. Our um, proportion is 0.5. Our number of successes is 72. N was 120. We are doing not equals this time. When we calculate this, we get a Z value of 2.19, a P value of 0.0285, our proportion we have is 0.6. So that Z value was 2.19. And we said our P value was 0 0.029.
So when we draw this, these areas are split between the point 0.029. So this area here would be 0 0.0145. And this area here would also be 0 0.0145. So we're looking at both extremes. So now we need to come up with a decision or conclusion based on our results. So again, we need to compare that p-value to the alpha level. And our p-value is less than our significance level alpha because our p-value is 0 0.029 which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject our null hypothesis. The sample provides convincing evidence that the proportion of PHS students who have never smoked a cigarette is not 0 0.05.